Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Connect 360 Presents the People's Cast. I am King Bear in the building. Comedian C.D. Charles. Michelle K. <laughs> MF, heavy duty, cutie. Oh my god, is he gonna turn to LL Cool J? He's gonna turn to the Puerto Rican LL Cool J. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a great show for you this evening. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mainly comment, because we love answering the comments back, but. You know, the subscriptions are great. They help us out, and it helps with that algorithm to keep pushing our videos to the top of the list so that you can see more content from us. So, you guys about ready to do it? Yeah. Yep. All right, yes, by all means, let's get to it. And we give it back to you, the people. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today's topic. Can you think of a time that family can do something that's unforgivable? And not just any family, I'm talking about close family, siblings, close cousins, parents, grandparents, things of that nature. Yeah. So I is there or is there anything that these people can do that will be unforgiven to you? The close people in your family. Yeah. If if one of the guys like a father, brother, uncle, cousin slept with like my wife or something like that or a girlfriend or mine. That's what he's going on. That would be unforgivable? Yep. Okay, so if your brother slept with your girlfriend when she was your girlfriend. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If I was dating someone right. or, or my or wife or whoever. Yeah, 25, 25 years I, later, you would still not forgive him? Nope, I can't trust you. Once I can't trust you, I don't want you to around me ever. Wow. That's just that's just me. You know, I'm different. I don't want to be around. I don't ever want to have to watch my back or uh, did he really mean that? I don't know. He might be suspect. No, I prefer you out of my life. I don't have to worry about it. All right. I don't have a specific situation, but I, I would think something like molestation would be something that'd be unforgivable. Oh, absolutely. Mm. That's, that's, I'm going to jail for that. Molestation. Anything, any level of molestation would be like, yeah. Yep. Okay. That's unforgivable. Michelle, okay. What you got? Can you think of anything? Oh, shit. Maybe you spit in my face or something. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Is it you want to spit in your face? Yeah, why are you spit in my face? That's nasty. Well, nah, I don't know. Yeah, but if your husband's spinning your face during sex, that's that's what acceptable. What about in your mouth? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> that's double standing. Now, what are we doing? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Go ahead, go ahead. Taking that far. <laughs> that's different. What if you're bending your mouth and it missed still in right here? She said in the face. She didn't even say it in the face. Yeah, I don't know if I'm, I want you to spit in my mouth. I'm just saying that's. Family members. We're going back to family. He trying to make it a freaking pervert over here. We have some family members. I really don't know. I don't okay. know because um I don't know. Okay. So I have I have a few scenarios that I want to ask you guys. But so first one. Um if a sibling gets you locked up due solely to their own actions. So if a sibling does something, they're out doing dirt. How much time I get? Mm-hmm. Does it matter? Uh, a month. 20, 24 hours and then you know my record, and you know. A month or a year. Mm. And it's a felony charge? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's unforgivable. All right, six months and a misdemeanor. Now remember, you did nothing. It's not like you were hanging with them and you got caught. You was they at home. At your door and picked you up. They they picked you up because your sibling used your name when they were doing their dirt and you got caught for it. And you getting sent up. And they never admitted to it? 
But Silver never admitted to it? Well, they, they were like, yo, my bad. Oh, yeah, that's like I'll put something on your books, but yeah, no, something. don't don't tell. Yes, yeah, go ahead and run run this bid for me. No, I ain't doing that. You ain't doing what? You ain't forgiving him, or you ain't running? Cause you already locked up. You running the bid. Yep. <laughs> You're selling no, cigarettes, I'm, son. You trying to tell him? Hey, bring in my fucking favorite sandwich. I'm telling. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. So, yeah, I ain't I ain't doing nobody time for nobody. What about you, Happy Duty? Son, you really gotta ask me, brother. Come on, man. I gotta be fair, that sir. I know the answer, but I gotta be fair, that. Come on, man. It, I, I'm not going to jail for nobody, and I don't expect no one to go to jail for me. If I did some dirt, I I do the time. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't right. If a sibling or a cousin or somebody sleeps with your spouse or mate. So spouse or mate. So whether they're your spouse and then they end up sleeping with them or their boyfriend or girlfriend from the past, is there ever a time that can pass where blood will will prevail over that? Spouse is different than boyfriend, girlfriend. Boyfriend, girlfriend. It's like whatever. Spouse? Hell no. That's like not. whatever, son? There's no feelings? If Are you just if a smashing machine with no one? No, you know, I've I'm had girlfriends that I loved, but not all of them. Mm-hmm. So I mean, if right. it's something, I, if it was a smash joint, it's whatever. But if it's something I loved and like I had real feelings for, it, then that's a different story. But the spouse, yeah. that's foul. That's that's not forgivable. What if it was the spouse that initiated? Ooh. Like she just really wanted your brother just it to say she wanted she, she wanted, wanted to match and sit. <laughs> You can really have him after that too. Long term, you, you want to extend this contract, but you can have him. And I don't have to forget neither one of y'all. But what if he came and told you he was like, "Yo, I was drunk." No, no, listen, 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 because you you already like nothing. <laughs> but say he was drunk, right? And she sees the opportunity. Like he's like slobbering drunk. He went out celebrating something. Laying down the couch somewhere. Right. So and he called you. He was like, "Yo." I can't make it back home. Your house is a hell of a lot closer. Can I get an Uber to the crib? And you're like, yeah, man, you're my little brother, whatever. Come stay at the crib. Now, he's passed out sleep on the couch. You know, you and wife in the bedroom. You knocked out. Well, it, at this point, what does it matter? He could be fully dressed, but she going out there with the intent. So she'll peel off the pants. Like, don't matter if he in boxes or not. But y'all in the bed sleep. She get out the bed two o'clock in the morning and go down there and want to deal with the old sons each. So he's like, he wakes up and she's doing that. And he's like, in the morning, he's like, he's perplexed because he's like, oh my God, do I tell my brother? How do I tell him? Then he finally tells you, yo, I woke up and yo, she was topping me off. I I, I got that guy, I got 3,000. Word. But did she do the hot toy though? I was. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but he tells you, like, can you trust him? Can you trust him that that's really what happened? Can you trust him that he was the innocent one in the situation? Uh, I see Michelle shaking her head. No, 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 you know, no, 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 Goddamn head, <laughs> that goddamn pussy, and that goddamn head mm-hmm. right out yeah, of his. But, but, but if right. it's the pitch dark and he, and he don't realize who it really is, because he's still really drunk, right? right? But he's just getting some head. Oh, he sees head, and he's holding the head, right, the back of the head, until until she pops out and goes. You know what I mean? That's what he sees. That's what he sees. Wow. He's in the dark, but he don't see shit. I got find a sound for that. He sees a wife, her mouth off, his mouth off, her mouth off. Well, or you know, or she hears that boom. Like, <laughs> she, yeah. hear, she hear the kid dunk. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that big goat. <laughs> Got that slurping. You get, you get head and let the head go on and don't recognize or identify who the fuck's giving you head? Right. That sounds like some prison so, shit, nigga. So if we flipped it, if it was you, right? I'm gonna yeah. identify who the fuck's gonna be here. Right, right. but I'm that's gonna... that that's your mind and your dick. But how do you know your brothers works the same way? Exactly. 
Maybe I, I, I know you. I know you try to give me the eyes like that. Come on, but you don't know if your brother gets so drunk that he just don't know. Correct. I concur. Mm-hmm. I mean, we get it. Now, if somebody did that to you, you would be like, you're like, oh, I'm sober. But not everybody has your superpowers. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. <laughs> 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 able to sense, able to sense, head at a speed of second, boy. <laughs> super, super CJ. He's like mighty mouse. <laughs> He's on his way. <laughs> yeah, I, but I mean, I think I should be huffing it for you. Right, right, I'm but. Saying. And, and and that's all that, that we're trying to build into this. We know it's going to be hard to believe, yes, but yes. can you find a way to forgive your brother with that type of scenario could be what's playing on what's going on? No. Because I was still in my head. Nope. Mm. Even if the wife's I, I have a question. Toes. I have a question. Oh, she's definitely going to get the fuck because she took the brunt of it. The, the brunt of it. She's initiated. You left the bed. Based on his scenario, mm-hmm. you left the bed will be in the bed. To go do this shit, so, so you that wouldn't take shit. the blow off your brother, like because she wasn't giving shit. ghost niggas head. She gave an actual <laughs> head, <laughs> right? But because you, so she take the brunt of it. Mm-hmm. But like Michelle's K is saying, so that wouldn't alleviate some of the heat off your brother because you know she got out of the bed to do it. And he was drunk, so she took advantage of him. How many times you did that shit? So <laughs> <laughs> you smoking like, like an expert. He tried to detract. He don't want to answer the question. No, I'm just saying, she sounds like somebody who did shit. He was drunk. I mean, because, was like, you know, things have happened and people be drunk and you don't remember. You don't right. remember. Heavy duty, what were you about to ask? Nigga, you answer the question. Same hold thing. Hold on a second, son. Because you got a brother's ticket. Answer me. the question. Oh, hold on, Dark Knight. Listen, my question. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Say what you have R- Rivera, come on, nigga. My, my question is, if if both your brother and and the, let's just say your so called wife tells you first, right? Like your brother pushes you to the side or your wife pushes you to the side, who would you believe first, your brother or the wife? Hmm. What's the wife? See, what if they have conflict in stories? What mm. could the wife possibly tell me in that scenario? Well, now, knowing she now you're judging your 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 wife who you married, and then you're judging. Okay, this is my blood. What is are you are you saying it from? Me. Right? Are you saying it from her having a conflict in story from the brother? Well, like she trying correct. to blame him, and he's correct. trying to blame her. Correct. Mm. So, so she she could be on some. Hey, your brother knocked on the door and said he was looking for a glass, and I went out to help him, and then he was just like he came on to me. And the magic ended up in your mouth. He pushed down on the sofa. Maybe she fell for it. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Like either way, you know, she 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 could have said no. I mean, we we got that established, but your brother could have initiated. Right. From her Look, story, at the end of the day, it, it happened, right? But who would you believe instantly? You know, your brother or, yeah. your, or, 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 or your wife in this scenario. Now you, you asking, ask but everybody's gonna answer that question. So, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. Probably my brother. Mm, blood. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Very yeah. fair. This show, okay? Hey, welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome to, the to the show, Michelle. Hey, how you doing today? <laughs> Who would you believe? Your sister or your husband? So your sister passed out of the chair and your husband go downstairs and eat that box. Oh, that that just makes Ooh. it. <laughs> she got a Yo, the dude out. is instantly guilty, dude. <laughs> Nah. Oh, she, man. She, she mm, the legs wrapped around the nigga neck and everything. She puts nope. his head down She's too. She's sitting on the face. Yep. She's sitting on the face. No, I had a situation, something like Uh-oh. that. No. Oh, oh. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. Oh. So Hold on. Turn, turn your chair. Let's no, go. No, it's not like that. Where my, oh. my baby, baby sister mm. and my mm-hmm. ex-husband, I was married at the time, though. Mm-hmm. And um, 
You were she, her, you were married or she was married? I was married. She was married too, okay. but she stayed at my house this particular Hold on, let time. Let it cook. Let it cook. And um, she was on the couch, and I had left one to work. Now I don't I don't sleep on the couch, so, and my husband knows that. So, mm-hmm. um, she ended up telling me something after that. Day. That was just a set. That's just the scenario. She stayed mm-hmm. at my house, so she came gotcha. in. She was like, you know. She told my other sisters, because we talked, so they all kind of called me up and was like, you know, so-and-so touched, you know, your sister or whatever. And I was yeah. like, what? And she was like, yeah, you know, he lied and said that he thought it was me, but he knew I was at work. <laughs> I know you, And man. I'm not going to be on the couch either. And my sister is like short, mm. you know, and a little thicker. I'm tall. And like, you would know, it just wasn't no way around oh, it. So, so send me a picture. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we need proof. We don't believe you. We need more people. I'm gonna post it right here on the wall. Right. I'm telling you, but no, she. Yeah. Yeah. So what yeah. I ended up doing yeah. was yeah. getting them together. You know, I had my husband there and my dog. You know, my sister, because I had I didn't know who to believe. There you like, go. I wasn't going to just not believe her because i know my sister and i know she won't mm-hmm. lie my husband's stupid you know so i know he probably did some dumb stuff but the way he tried to play it off like you know no i, I was i was half asleep and i didn't know and stuff like that slept and, to the know, pussy. right like, that was as far as it went she woke up and you know but i was asleep i didn't know i broke the left cheek right. <laughs> oh my god but, I, I didn't. I wasn't mad at my sister. Mm. You know, I was more so mad at my husband because why would you be that dumb? You know, and and we're so close, so it's not like we're not going to say nothing. Right. 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 Yeah. right. But that was. But no. So, so I. So just to understand this. That, this. that was the first time that happened. Pushed them away. Mm-hmm. That was the first time your sister, that happened. Your, your sister pushed them away. Yeah, because she woke or, up. Oh. She happened to wake well, up. Because the hell was, no back up. Right. So it was like one of those instant things. So yeah. The nigga ain't yeah, the there's no game. reason to be mad at your sister. You gotta one. play the long game. You, you gotta drop right some seats early. Mm-hmm. And let every flavor. He was you testing the field. Let's we'll yeah, see I if his sister was there with it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah he went free from the bus. He got to do this shit a little bit. That's a scandalous ass dude, man. Mm-hmm. And then he gonna play the dumb. Oh, I thought it was you. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. That's what I said. The same body type. You make it all of us look bad. You dumb mother. You big dumb. You. Oh. Sloppy Joe, that's what I call him. Mm. All right, what so about you? yeah, heavy duty. You got multiple brothers, and yeah. you know, so how did the situation play out? If it was you, I would trust my brother. Wow, over the girl. Yep. But go give him the same scenario you gave me with the whole if you was passing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So would it? You know, would if it's your that, wife, I, I would trust him. Okay. I would trust him over the, the missus. Okay, so what if the wife came up and she, you know, she's telling you heavy duty, I swear. On our children. He, I mean. I he, didn't do that shit. Yeah, he literally came to the room and, or I went to the bathroom and he was asking for something and I, I went to give it to him and then he just, he came on to me. Like say you happen to get up and she was leaning over the cabinet and you see your brother behind her like kissing her on the neck and shit. That's different. Now I have evidence. Right, but who you gonna believe that initiated it? Well, from my point of view, if he's holding her behind her, right. He's doing the touching. Yeah, but she could have got up there. She could have been like, come here, I wanna show you something. Mm-hmm. And set stick that thing back. Mm-hmm. Pornhub shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm stuck in the cabinet. Right. <laughs> Come get me out. Come get me out the cabinet. So before I swing, right, I'm gonna go up and see the whole scenario, right. I'm gonna see okay what's going on without me speaking. Just gonna go see, right. Mm-hmm. I'm, I may be a heavy duty cutie, but but I'm laying on my feet so they can't hear me. I'm like. All right, stay puff, you big fluff, you. Kirby. <laughs> 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 I'm, the ch- I'm like the chubby nigga, bro. Uh, I'm like, let's go. Okay, so you still ain't saying you. Okay, so, so once I see the scenario, right? I mm-hmm. see what's going on and li- listen, looking at the body language, it's like, who's pushing off 
right? Is she the one like, get off me? Or if he's like, yo, what you doing? You know what I mean? I need to But he's behind her grabbing her. So why would he be like, yo, what you doing? (laughs) Like he behind it, he'd be like, yo, what you doing? No, no, what I'm saying is, let's just say she's like in the stepladder, right? She fell back and he grabbed her. You know what I mean? Uh, There's like scenarios. (laughs) At three o'clock in the morning. Okay. Hold up. Let me finish. Now, if they just standing up like that, and I get out of the bed, and they just hold each other like that, they both wrong. I'm fucking both of them up. (laughs) (laughs) I grant that (laughs) auto. They just gonna swing and punch both of them to the floor, right? Karate chop the missus and give the elbow to the brother. (laughs) 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 Whoever's standing, they get the power (laughs) bomb. That's it. Oh man, okay. What you doing there, Bear? Oh man, um, I'm not believing nobody. I, I'm not believing nobody. I, C4 at your door, everything's getting blown up. I'm not trusting my brother again. I'm not trusting her again. Everybody gotta go. Everybody gotta go. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna believe nobody's story. What happened? He's he so drunk. He didn't recognize us again. Exactly. I, I'm not. I'm not believing nobody. I'm not believing nobody. It was like, but what about? Uh, I mean, y'all can change the scenario how you want, but for me, I, I'm not. I'm not big on trusting people, and you can lose my trust very, very, very easy. It's very fragile. Now, if I trust you, I'll give you the world. But the second, you, mm-mm, so with, and I don't be in that situation. Like, <laughs> if if you're the the party that something's happening to. Then you better have a fucking rape whistle, or you better bang a pot. Like you better make noise and wake me the fuck up, because I'm the lightest sweet. I'm the lightest sleeper in the damn house. Like you better be like, hell, ah! like something. Somebody better make a damn noise. But oh, suck about that. But no. exactly, exactly. Somebody better make a damn noise. I don't want her to do it. Stop. But if that shit went down and nobody said nothing to me until the morning, I don't trust none of y'all. Like, I, there's, I, there's, neither one of y'all are going to get the benefit so you, of doubt. So you want it to happen and come wake you up right away? Like, hey, Bear, you sleep? Huh? I want uh, somebody to make some noise immediately. I was drunk. Immediately. And she, she gave me head and she swallowed, but. If she goes down there, <laughs> if she goes down there and she starts doing that, he's like, damn. And he's thinking it's his wife. He's like, damn, so and so, you. Hey, man! I'm like, hey man, what the fuck? Right. Uh, and then by the time I get down there, she's she like, oh, oh, oh right. Right. bitch, got you now. Got you now. She go her mouth it's now. Like, it's too late now, because now you, your ass is caught. You're out of the bed. So the fuck you doing down there? Like it's over with. Now you caught. But like I said, in a scenario where nobody said nothing and I'm sleeping peacefully like a baby, and then I wake up in the next morning, both of y'all, we 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 gotta tell you something. Like, you gotta tell me something. Both of y'all get the fuck out. Like, <laughs> never again. I ain't trusting neither one of y'all ever again. Get the fuck away from me. For real. Even though one is wrong and the other one. I'll never know who. Fight it, fight, fight it off. I'll never know who. He just but said. I'll never know who. I don't give a shit. Life, life ain't, ain't fair. No. I don't give a shit about he's fair. Bob doing it, he's using the head. I ain't giving you that fight off shit. When I said it, there was no fighting off. It was getting bobbed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. See, mine is a little bit easier because I'm C4 and everybody. Like, it's all over with. I, don't, I, don't, I can't trust nobody. How am I going to know? There's nothing that anybody can say. You that... the sound box camera spots in, in the house you got. You yeah, know. You, you, you got you infrared. Got you got sonar. You got everything. <laughs> sonar. Yeah, but <laughs> as be that as it may, with the Amazon boxes, they don't record on motion, and they don't they don't save it. So oh, it's so not you like you could go back. Be watching it. What, what, you gotta, gotta actually be watching it with the Amazon boxes. Got it. And they let you know when somebody's watching, like a, a strip comes across the top and it says, someone in the house is watching this camera. Oh, so yeah, there ain't no creepy shit going on. <laughs> like you know when somebody's watching the damn thing. So what's the purpose behind it? Right. It's supposed to be because it's supposed to be like you surveilling your house. It's not supposed to be you being a fucking creeper and watching people oh. while they sitting in, in your house, you know? I, I, I thought you had it as a creepy mode. Okay. Creepy Why mode. the fuck would I have? <laughs> you said you got it in creepy mode. <laughs> in the living room? 
<laughs> bro, no. Oh, this is you, bro. Should have it down. No. You know why? You know why he would have it in the living room? Because the living room is right next to the freaking fridge, and he, I don't, he's gonna make sure that no one touches his side of the fridge. Oh. That's what it is. That's a good point. Just the white grapes. <laughs> don't fuck with the, or the Lex, green grapes. Lex don't fuck with the green grapes. grapes. Don't fuck with the green grapes. <laughs> We were just talking about them green. Okay, I ain't gonna get this. I'll leave green grapes alone. Okay. Yeah, man, you know. Hey, Instagram world. Hey, yeah. Comedian Cinnabon's trousers then, then cut me out the video again. You see how he did that shit? <laughs> I gotta leave way over here because this motherfucker. I just happened to look. I ain't even in the video the whole time again. You see? Hey, hey, do you remember what he said before? Nah, man, I get everybody in the video. Uh, this <laughs> thing, in this, hey, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> he, got, he got a chair. The chair's in the way. My chair ain't moved the whole fucking time. The chair's in the way. <laughs> he got him and Michelle K in the video. This <laughs> see a hand in your laptop. You know what talking about? Man, I'm a, at this point, I'm a voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's Charlie's angels. <laughs> wow. How are you everybody talking to a speaker box and shit? <laughs> Damn. Charlie got the crew. God, dog. Anyway, okay, moving right along. So I'm blowing it up. So we got everybody. All right, so the next, the next one was, if a family member inappropriately touches you or another family member, now hold on. Uh, now I'm let it, let me make it a little bit more difficult because if it's your own kids, that's easy. That, that's unforgivable. However, say it's a uncle who touched a third cousin or something, and you're only hearing word of mouth that this could have happened. So you are not witness to it. You don't know it for a fact. But you're like, mm, he's kind of weird. It could have happened. It's unforgivable no matter what. That's a serious offense. Right. But you don't know if it happened for real. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. No. So you're going you gonna to unforgive him due to speculation based on him being weird? Are you gonna find yeah, out? Yeah, we don't. Yeah, yeah, like y'all never had that word, one uncle or somebody that I'm was, That'd be weird. You'd be like, where the kids at? No, don't make like, <laughs> Make sure Uncle Sussex. Hey, everybody having a good time. Hey, wait a minute. What are, right. It's quiet right here. Right. Where the kids go? Y'all ain't never had to have it actually happen, but you see the nigga go, hey, you want a little candy in the corner? You always isolate, <laughs> isolate the kids like Alan Iverson in the corner. Like, hey, you want a little candy? Oh, you look so nice in a. You know the vibes. Let's not act brand this new. This be true. We know the vibes. We know the ones that be like, hey, come. How was she? Want to sit on my lap? All them, all that little shit? Mm -hmm. Nah. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't believe it. I, I don't play with that shit. So. Wow. Heavy duty, you rounded up this time. A family member... You've heard that a family member might have inappropriately touched another family member. Not directly one of your children or you, but you've heard that it could have happened to another family member somewhere else. So what's the question? Like, do, do I let him in my house? Do I, so do you, you know what I mean? Would, would you be able to forgive him? Would you be able to act like it didn't happen? Would you be able to, um, you know, trust him? No. I, I, I wouldn't place judgment like that 100% until I get the full story from their parents or their loved one, the closest person to the uncle, right? Like their sister, whatever. So, but I would not allow that person to be around me or my family until I get that that 100% answer from, from that party. Okay. So what if it happened to be your favorite uncle and this is some new allegation that come out and you were raised around this favorite uncle and he had never done anything to you. And before you heard this, he had been around your kids and you've never had a problem. Now all of a sudden you heard this chirping from somewhere else around the family. Answer. It's the same answer. Doesn't so now you gonna block him out based on what yeah. somebody else said? Yeah, because I, I, at the end of the day, I still gotta protect me and my kids. It's a protection mode. That's all it is. Wow. Until I get the full answer, you know what I mean? 
or the correct answer, then he is not allowed in my house until everything is clear. So you do know family can be the most nefarious at times when it comes to intent. Sometimes well, they can the just word. do shit. Thank you for the big words, but uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know the word. It's okay. Nefarious. What? what? <laughs> nefarious. <laughs> bad intent. I know. I know. Malicious. Bro, it doesn't matter to me. At the end of the day, until I get the answer that I'm looking for, either way, he did it or not, he's not allowed in my house. Not around okay. my kid, family. Okay, so say it's your closest brother who, like I said, was there. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. It so. It doesn't. It I'm doesn't. Just protecting. I'm protecting my kids. Right. Just but you've. Do you have a brother that you have let your kids go with before? Yes. Okay, so that brother, where you have actually let your kids go with, now you got a third cousin that said, oh, you be letting uh, him watch your kids? Well, I heard like 15 years ago, he touched cousin so-and-so behind the bathroom stall. Now all of a sudden you're going to cut your brother off based on that? Yes, because then I'm going to go to cousin so and so, face to face, and get their side of the story. Then go to my brother and get his side of the story. Yeah, but you know, victims ain't going to just tell you, especially if they're a cousin from somewhere else. You go, hey, did my brother touch your stuff? What are they going to say? Yeah, I, I'm not going to be like. That. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm away from me. No, no. <laughs> now you're the weirdo. <laughs> Now they're going to be approaching you. Hey, did y'all hear? Cousin, cousin Heavy Duty done went up to so-and-so talking about they stuff. <laughs> Since we're at the barbecue, talking about sauce. I'll right. go to their the family, family member, too. You know what I mean? Like, let's just say it's the cousin. I'll go to the auntie or the uncle and say, hey, what really happened with so-and-so and so-and-so? <sighs> it must be different on the Latin side. It must because be I know because when it comes to us, it. if shit goes down with us, that shit tends to get buried. Like, people don't just come out and tell when that stuff happens. That's true. You know, so if you just go and approach it, it's not like but somebody's going to be open with it. But I thought Cliff was Hispanic. I just said, what he said is true. People tend to bury it, too. But it's not like I have, my family members don't bury shit. This stuff I'll find out okay. like years later on around. So I'm just saying, because, I mean, you you know, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, because you turn into Mr. Interrogator, and you're going to get to the bottom of it. Yeah. And, you know, those not coming around, family not coming around tend family to bury so stuff deep. Okay, so then your answer would be that you would never forgive your brother based on somebody else's allegations. Until I get the answer. And if you not don't. not going to be around my family. You can't okay. be around my family until I can feel comfortable enough with the answer I'm looking for. Okay. Either way. Michelle, okay. I'm going to say, I feel the same way. I wouldn't. You know, I wouldn't with your sister. <laughs> if your sister touched the uh, right. male like cousin to. You heard from a cousin somewhere else That said that they heard from a family member That your sister Who has watched your kids And took care of your kids before Had touched another cousin years ago somewhere You you just gonna believe that And now keep that sister away from your kids? I mean, was it a boy she touched? It doesn't matter. That, that is? Wait a minute. Does my molesting sister have practices? Oh, my God. If she touched a little girl, unforgiving. But if she joined off one of our cousins, I mean, hey. What did, was he wearing? He I mean, had jerk off I mean, did he have them gray sweatpants on? <laughs> Jesus, Michelle K. What are we talking about? She's a victim blame. I was just asking. Um... Uh, you know what? Let's go with it. Yeah, it was a boy. <laughs> I want to see where this goes. We'll see it. I mean, you said 15 years ago. Was he like underage? They both was underage. Yeah, it was a kid. Mm-hmm. Not they were both underage. Your sister was, was grown. Uh, and it was a little boy. It was grown. But One I of your stop cousins. Her, but I wouldn't stop her from watching my kids because, I mean, I don't know. I just wouldn't. We'll talk about it first, but mm-hmm. she just tell me what happened. And when she's like, no, that's bull. That never happened. That's bull. That's bull. 
I don't know why they saying that. Because you know, ain't nobody going to be like, yeah, man, I touched that little boy, PB. Ain't nobody going to do that. I jumped him through his pants, not over. I just gave him a little rub. I mean, Michelle, okay, he was so big, man. I had to. Ain't nobody going to do that. I had to ask a little boy. I had to find out first. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know. Uh... So little cousin Tyrone. Did, did my sister grab your stuff? And you know, little boys will probably brag about it. He sure you know, would. Because y'all are young. Y'all His are cousin? The boy. I would have to say if it was me, I don't think I'd ever brag that my cousin grabbed my joint. I don't think I'd ever would. Third and fourth cousins that you would see every view, like how far removed cousin is we? Because like way down the Maybe I'm different. Because I can't see myself. And y'all here, I got a big mouth. I talk about every fucking thing. I don't think I would ever come out and be like, Hey y'all, let me tell y'all something that happened to me one time. So I was at the family reunion and then my my third cousin on my grandmother's side twice removed took me behind the shed and she jerked my joint. Like I don't <laughs> it never happened. I don't think I'd ever just come out and say that shit. I would hear I would think most boys would be happy to say Word. That. If it was somebody not related to me, hell yeah. I tell I tell my story about how I my first time all the time. I was a twenty nine year old woman, I was thirteen. I'm proud of that shit. But so, my cousin, I, mm, <laughs> mm, 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 I don't know. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, I could be different. Maybe CJ Trial said he would brag about it. So apparently, I said you, people have cousins. Before, don't be stuttering down. Exactly. Bending. You just said you. I would. said niggas have had cousins. Like oh, he, you know that person's good. Like how how far along is the cousins? Oh, I had that one cousin look pretty good. And he might take notice of him. He might, cousin on what I mean, CJ Trial, you you fucked one of your cousins before? No, I just said that. Would you oh, tell us? Cousins. Would you tell if, us? If, his, if, if the cousin had big know. titties, he would. Would you tell us? Shut the hell. If you had a big titty cousin, would you tell us if you smashed? Big titty cousins. Would you tell us? I'm not smashing. Would you tell us? Sure. No, he would. Sure. You wouldn't tell us. Just like he won the Kumite. He's begging. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm bullshit. Okay, let's let's get back on topic. Because we got to get this close. All right, so. Oh, heavy duty. What would you do in that, that scenario? Oh, wait a minute. Scenario. Huh? No, you already answered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, answer yeah. You're, you answered first. Um, yeah. So, yeah, what's on you, Clint? Because Michelle Page just went. What they answered already? Everybody answered. Yeah, everybody answered. Oh, okay. You mad slow, son. <laughs> uh, apparently, man. I'm, I'm getting sidetracked on my own sidetracks. All right. So, let's see. Family of inappropriate touch another family. Okay, so then... No, you didn't answer the question. You were just talking about the, the scenario. So, if a fa- uh, uh, far off family member, uh, if they blamed your brother, would you trust your brother again around your kids? Or would you trust your brother again? That was the question. So, so you don't even remember what no, the scenario is. No, okay. time you said brother. No, 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 no. Say a, a second or third cousin down the line comes to you and says, oh, you let your, your brother, um, you know, be around your kids like that? Uh, I heard, you know, like 10 years ago, your brother was touching cousin so and so from cousin so and so's line off in the bathroom when she was like seven. I wouldn't believe that because me and my cousin, me and my brother have such a adamant hate about that specific thing. Right. So you would believe your brother because of how we how we both feel about that. Right. Yeah. We've we've like approached. I'm gonna fucking beat the shit out of you type shit. So yes, I wouldn't believe that. Because of, I know how much he despised that level of shit. We have the same thing about things affecting children, younger people, taking mm-hmm. advantage of, and our viewpoint in that is such of high aggression and passion. I wouldn't mm-hmm. believe it. Because that's how I am. If you're doing something ill to a kid, my thought process is you should die. Okay. So. And just playing devil's advocate here. Uh huh. What else did we learn today? What? We learned that your brother's dick's not your dick earlier, right? 
when, when your brother was getting head, you was like, man, if it was me, I'd wake up right away, right? Now, I get it. I get it. And once again, just playing devil's advocate. I get it. You know, you and your brother had the same the same um, principles. Same beliefs, same principles. Absolutely. I'm 100% with you on that one. I wouldn't believe it is what you But you, would, you wouldn't believe the rumors come in front of cousin and nobody else. So the day after you hear that, say your brother was supposed to babysit your kids because you had to do something for work. You would still let him do it? Yeah. All right. That's that's exactly what I, I was asking. And, oh, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I bet you were, but okay, that's gonna be a Michelle Cameron moment. <laughs> Cause right after you finished that face, I did not do. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. That was the same with the electric bike face. You ain't slick. So wait a minute. So you, <laughs> so do you, <laughs> do you object to anything that can be CJ Trout said? So you agree with him? Mm-hmm. Okay. So it sounded like heavy duties on the island on this one. Because yeah, I would, fine with that. if it was my brother in that scenario, I would believe my brother. Like I wouldn't being you know growing up with my brother and knowing him and knowing what he stands for and knowing what I stand for. And you talking about a second or third cousin just saying some bullshit? I'm yeah, I'm, get the fuck out of here. I might slap the cousin for like you don't even know him like that. Stop that. Like, I'm not just going to all of a sudden alienate my brother from my kids based on somebody who I know hasn't even been around him as much as I have. Now, to give Heavy Duty some, some cre- you know, some credence in what he was saying, there's always a possibility for something. But mm-hmm. I'm definitely going to give my brother benefit of doubt on that one. Like, he's definitely going to rain on that. I'm not going to come at him like it was any type of possibility that he did do it. But I'm not going to be like, it's a complete impossible. There's no way that this could ever happen in the history of man. I'm not going to be that definitive, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm not even going to approach him about it. I'm going to be like, look, you don't want me to tell my brother what you just said because my brother will punch a hole through your face. So let's not go there. Okay, next one. Now it gets easier, y'all. Okay, if a family member steals from you and you catch them, could you ever trust them again? Say it's a substantial amount of money. Say it's, you know, you 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 have a, a stash in a house somewhere and we're grown at this point, not kids stuff. Not, hey man, you took my five dollars. No, no, no. Like, say you got money put away in the house. They're the only ones who happen to see you take the money out. You come back later and five, ten thousand dollars is gone out of your stash. Never again in life. You have to fight. 40, <laughs> you're going to have to fight. Yeah. I, I get the fight. It's I get the fight. You don't know what that money was for. Mm-hmm. This is true. Yeah, you taking from me. Obviously, I'm helping you because you at my house. Mm-hmm. Therefore, reason you do that, yeah. Okay. Speak up, Michelle. Okay. You will. You, you will want to be my friend after that, because I mean. This is family, though. We ain't talking about friends. Mm, friends, family. One of your sisters. If it was family, you wouldn't do that. But say they did. Mm-hmm. That's the scenario. So then that's the scenario of you getting your ass kicked. It's got. There's no. There won't be no in between. Not when you're taking that much money. And you didn't think about my feelings. Mm-hmm. You didn't think what about it could my. Be used yeah, for it yeah. had a purpose. So I'm not gonna care what I do or what happens after that. Okay, heavy duty. This is what I say, or the way I would think, just like Bear. I can't trust you. You can't be in my life. Bottom line, you stole from me. I don't care what the excuse is. I can never trust you again. You're cut off. I don't care if it was my mama, my cousin, my brother, you know, Dark Knight. It doesn't matter who it was. <laughs> this is your cut off. Bottom line. I don't know why. <laughs> Play it. Nothing okay. but love, man. Nothing but love. Okay, El Chapo. What are they waiting? All right. So, um, and I'm with you guys on that one. I'm. You know, um, 
I don't think there would be a point in life where I can ever look at that person and be like, okay, you can come back in my house and be around and and <laughs> me not be staring at you. Like, yo, when you get ready to leave, empty your pockets, dog. Like, mm-mm. I got you like I used to Yeah, you got to count how many forks, how many forks you got. You know what I mean? Squeeze them pockets. Nah. I used to make niggas clap when I leave the room. <laughs> I remember you told me. <laughs> it, was a, it was a group of kids that used to take niggas video games, and every time we leave the room, go back from it. Y'all know what it is. Um, round of applause, niggas. Like, oh my god, this is that bullshit. <laughs> I don't hear five people clapping, niggas. On the floor. <laughs> <laughs> keep the motherfucker's hands going. I'm like, man, you, nah, I can keep them hands busy, sir. Shoot, my mother, she kept a cap on it. She, she protected us without it. She was like, yo. No more than one kid for each of y'all coming to the house. That's it. That's smart. So, <laughs> five? That's what you said. I was like, five neighborhood crumb snatching kids in the house at one time? That was hard. Holy so, shit. You had a bunch of friends. You're like, Ugh, I gotta... You came last That sounds time. like a lockdown. Exactly. exactly. A lockdown. Yeah, my, I, <laughs> we can always blame my mom. She's like, my mother said only two people were coming out. That's all <laughs> That's a my mother excuse. said. My mama said you can't ride my bike to the yep, street. Yep, yep. That's my, my mother said nobody can get on my bike. My mother said nobody can play my football. Yep. My mom said nobody can touch my baseball or my baseball bat. Nope. That's an excuse. <laughs> nope. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I will take it. I will go the fuck home before I give it to you. Man, just let me get a toss. Watch this. I'll run my ass in the crib. <laughs> you ain't taking my shit. I know hood niggas. I know them little kids, dude. You trust like, nobody. Nah, nigga, let me go, go run, go, go deep. You turn back around. Beep, beep. Out of here. Gone. <laughs> Gone. You just stare at that wide open New York air and space. You're like, God damn, what the? <laughs> it makes go. Man, run the hardest shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> now they got a 200 yard head start. You were. <laughs> damn it, I knew. And then you got your punk ass friends on the same block talking about, man, just throw him the ball, man. Let him get a throw. Nigga, let him throw your ball. Right. Fuck that. Hey, get my ball, man. Now nah, I already see him coming down the block. Get my ball. Get my ball. Nope, get my ball. And trust none of y'all. When you saw see the nigga disperse, you're like, oh, uh, okay, shit. Cool. <laughs> All right, let me get my bike. It was cool, y'all. I'll see that in a little bit. Uh huh. You always know the, the real bad stick up kid hood niggas, man. You, cause you can't trust them. Yeah, that whole Debo from Friday, that was real life for us. But it started from here. <laughs> we didn't get grown to see Debo. We didn't see Debo's down here. Hell yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we gonna get ready to get up out of here. I've been King Bear in the building. Comedian CJ Charles. Was that a fucking wrong? No, I didn't even show me off. I said, what the fuck? That's a King Bear. In the building. <laughs> Michelle K. Did you do yours? Yes. I, I barely heard my, you. I did mine. You like snuck it out there. I okay. said, okay. the and then you did the beer. I said, what the fuck is that? Right? I don't know what you heard about me. We got all out of order. Do we got to do it over? No. no. You did. <laughs> it's total time. Good. And I'll be. Toodles, baby, do the cutie. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 and we're gonna catch y'all on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a great one. Peace. Right, peace.